Hello and welcome to part 3 of my Nagaoka campaign. Continuing on from where I was uh, last time, this is the battle, uh, siege, defence. Um, of um, previous... Uh, of my, where is it? It's a Chugo. Sorry, I'm just testing out formations. Uh, a couple of you gave me some tips. I can just press G. Um, I select the men I want. And instead of pressing Control G, which is what I normally do to group my troops, just press G. And then I turn off the lock group formation. And hey, presto, you can have as many men as you want. And they'll still be in numbers. Brilliant. I wonder if that works the normal way of me going Control of control 2 and then just taking off the lock group formation yeah it does okay I can do that brilliant thank you to those I sorry I can't all tab out to thank you all personally your names but uh, if I remember when I upload this video I'll put your names in the description and uh, and thank you guys all of you that suggested uh, using that so that's now fixed um, brilliant I'll if I get a chance to have a battle in this um, in this part I will show what I mean a bit more, what you guys have suggested to those of you that are going, what, what are you talking about group formations? Okay, and I, yeah, I wasn't really thinking when I was placing the troops like so, but I need to pull these guys definitely around to here. Um, these guys, what have we got coming at me anyway? Here we've got levy infantry, spears, here we've got spears, spears, spears. Here we've got levy infantry, levy infantry, levy infantry, I'm going to get shot to pieces. And here we've got more levy infantry, match lock catchy, and levy infantry. Now, ooh, this is gonna go obviously horrifically well. Um, I'm gonna get these guys back here. Spear troop mainly needed to defend here, and then these two smaller ones I'm gonna have over at this angle. I'm I'm gonna dismount my damo, not my damo, my general here. because I'm going to use these guys as kind of elite shock infantry troops. You can see their melee attack is ridiculously high, so they'll be pretty good. They've got decent morale, good armor or so. Um, so we're going to use these as kind of frontline shock troops. Now I know it's risky, but this battle is either going to be won um, by the skin of my teeth or I'm going to get crushed. I know I've got the bombardment available to me, so I'm hoping this will work. Uh, in terms of sound, I hope that my mic's obviously, I think my mic's good now, I've boosted it up a bit more uh, for part 2 and this part, part 3. But um, let me know about the in-game sounds. And some of you said in the last part 2, which I haven't got around to replying to yet, that you were like, oh, uh, could the sound go up a bit? Well, could you be just a bit more specific? Like, do you want the effects, like of men marching or firing their guns a bit higher? Or do you want the music a little bit higher? But obviously when I'm right in the thick of battle, um, commentating generally better for me uh, if I can not um, not have the music too high so I can hear what's going on okay so the first wave of enemies comes up shut up by my uh, levy infantry here uh, also I should note I'm gonna hopefully get a vlog done later today it might be late tonight but I was meant to be doing a part 25 of my Shogun 2 Chosokabe campaign, but for whatever reason it seems that part 24 didn't save, um, nor did part 25, so I've got to work back from part 23, which is the last save I've got. For whatever reason the other saves have disappeared, don't understand why. So I'm going to have to um, re like play through a couple of turns, and they were quite significant battles, so I'm going to have to try and play them as similarly as I did previously so that I don't get any different outcome so that the video can be as close to what actually happened as possible in my other campaign parts so um, I hope I'll be able to get now the thing is I'm I'm actually going away to Spain for one week it's kind of my Easter holiday uh, and I'll explain that in a vlog either again late tonight or tomorrow but if I can um, 
get round to while I'm still at home today and a little bit of tomorrow, I'll try and catch up with that Shogun 2 part and upload it. But if I don't, then it will be the first thing I do along with another Fall of the Samurai uh, Nagaoka campaign part when I'm back on the 15th again. But don't worry, I'm not going away for long, uh, just a week, uh, and then I will be back properly for three solid weeks of non-stop videos. That spear levy unit's going to break. Might just bring my general over here. Ah, brilliant, my artillery came down and did some damage. We've pushed that levy infantry back, it's good. Gonna inspire these guys to keep fighting. I'm gonna have to use my other spear troops now to hold them off, hold the enemy off at this this section. My levy troops are obviously getting the opportunity to now fire in and give some support. But really if I have to engage them in melee it's not gonna work that well. My general's got to push through the ranks here. But yeah, as I said, if I can, I'll get around to doing that, that part 25 of the Chosokabe campaign. But if not, I'm sorry, I'll have to wait until I get back for a few days. Uh, well, get back after a week away. But yeah, all that will be explained in the vlog. Now let's get back to actually what's going on in this battle. I've managed to push the spear levy back. They're broken. They're routed. I'm, I'm pushing with my general. Let's see if we can get into some nice, cool killing shots. Spear to the face. Go, Katana dude, go. He's running away, he's going to get killed surely. Yes! Oh, boom, the blood's everywhere. My screen's messy. Oh, damn, that just sounds dodgy. <laughs> okay, so we pushed them back from here. They are sort of, some of them regrouping. I'm not going to chase them. I'm going to hold my guys back here because the other levy infantry have pushed up a bit. So we're going to hold them here. We've got the generals which are bound to come up against me at some point. So I'm going to get these rifle, uh, well not rifles, my levy infantry up against the walls. Uh, they're, now, they're now moving in as you can see. Okay, and I've got this bombardment. Now I'm going to try and be really sneaky here and place it here and hope that it will hit the generals because they're bound to de-horse and try and climb up on this angle. Why did it go over there? Well, either way, I'm hoping I can try and kill some of them. But some of them are going to be shot down by my levy infantry here. They're now on foot, most of them. Come on, let the bombardment rain down. Don't know from which side it's coming from. Oh, boom. Damn. Sitting them in the other position where I was hoping it would hit them. We managed to kill some of them though, which is good. So they're moving all of their infantry along this wall here. Which isn't helping them. They're getting shot to pieces as they slowly march along. Trying to climb up this wall, I think. Now their units have come back, the levy infantry have come back, or well, these might be even reinforcements. No, they're, they're not. The original units just remembered. Um, so what have I got still on these walls? Still got my levy infantry on these walls still holding out just about. Coming up with spear troops now. So I'm going to move this unit of infantry along here because it's really not going to help way over there. I've got what remains of my spears. Well, these guys are fighting to the death. There's not that many of them left. Just the five. Okay, and I've got to pull back now with these guys. Very quickly. I'm hoping I can get a volley off. get flaming arrows from the towers firing on these guys now. I'm going to kill off the uh, this general at least. Slowly marching along, casually taking a stroll while under fire. These guys have charged up and they're getting annihilated by my men. They're wavering, going straight But we're going to charge him with my 
my general, but these guys shattered now they've broken. So that's fine, they're gonna run. I'm gonna leave these guys here because and um the generals come up now. So I'm gonna leave them here because obviously they can fight into the general, which is gonna come straight here. We're not going to let this general escape though. Be shot to pieces by my levy infantry. Or finished off now by my general. Rally my men. They're now pushing up with these uh, levy infantry. Which continues to get shot at. Just about holding on to this. Don't know how, but I am. So I'm now going to form up my, my levy troops like so. To counter these guys. Because they're, they're, well, they're marching around. But I think they're trying to get up the walls. I think they are at least. And we're going to claim this tower back. Ah, oh, and the general has escaped out there. I'm, um... I'm going to mount up with my guys. With my general. And I can try and chase them down. But they're at... Ah, oh, wait, no, they're actual generals over here. He's got as far down as here. He's escaped. Lived to fight another day. But I can use my cavalry to charge into these these units here. So I'm gonna get my levies back on the wall. Against the enemy. Because they can't have run out of bullets, I wouldn't have thought. They're just walking very slowly, just having a slow march around my wall. AI is uh, cocked up itself a little bit here. But you can enjoy my, my slaughter of them. Ah, uh, they're now shattered, they're breaking. Probably just confused, bless them. And we've triumphed, we've pushed them away. Yes, so I did quite well there. Actually, I don't think I lost as many men as I thought I would, perhaps. Not going to bother chasing after them, we're just going to end the battle here. And thanks to those of you that uh, said, once I've won, that screen comes up and I click continue, I can just go escape and quit battle and I'll, have, I'll still win. I just didn't know if it was going to royally screw me over in that other battle. But yeah, cheers for you guys for uh, confirming my thoughts on that. Good stuff. Lovely koi carp there again. Okay. So, sorry, I was just just got an email through a text. Another, another one of you has commented on one of my videos and subscribed. Thank you very much for all of you that have subscribed so far. A massive surge of subscribers with this Fall of the Samurai campaign starting. Please do continue to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I really appreciate every single one and every single one of your views. And please do thumb up my videos because that means a lot as well. Okay, so let's take a look at these guys. Just quickly. They did a lot of damage here, actually. Levy Garrison did well. It's a shame I don't actually get to keep them because they would have... Actually, they didn't veteran up at all. Uh, nor did they. These guys did, though. <laughs> to five. Chevron's a veterancy. Awesome. Although, is it still Chevron's, even though it's it's Japanese? Because Chevron's technically a, it's an American, quite an American term. That's a question for you guys. Uh, are in, in Japan, are the military ranks, sort of, do they have Chevron's? Or would, they, would they be classed as Chevron's? Or is it, are they just put there because technically in Japan they wouldn't have had sort of chevron ranks like that. They would have had their own sort of ranks and it's just because obviously this is a western game. We use western military terminology and etc. Let me know about that if you if you know something about that. So you can see the two armies that went at me, uh, Numata and uh, Takayama, and another army by uh, Numata. They're all sort of regrouping now but they have been defeated and crushed and my men are doing well. This guy, sure, he's, why is he not going up? Another, I did get a level last time. He should be levelling up quite nicely. My army over Sado now. Do, do, do. Uh, I need to recruit some more line infantry. That's what I need to do here. Then I'm going to bring that army. 
and take out these guys who've declared war on me, which gives me a perfect chance to expand up north, because I don't want people coming from the north as well. If I can if I can secure the north, then sort of make peace with who's up here. Sendai, their um, shogunate forces, they're good. Um, and that will be awesome as well. And, um, yeah, then I can just kind of focus by blocking all these guys. I've got this army coming, which is what I need to... I've got a mission to conquer there, in fact. Um, should see how many turns I've got left on that. Straight thing our position. Oh no 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 time limit, brilliant. But I do need to take these guys out, which means I'm gonna need that army probably to come back down. Well, I'm gonna see if I can make peace with the guys up in the north actually. They are Imperial though, so I doubt it. Hmm. Oh I can get trade with the Josai though. Let's do that and then let's see if I can get an alliance. No, unacceptable, okay. Well, at least that's making me some friends here in this block. I'll have these guys here. Got to eliminate the Imperial forces, and then I can push out. Oh, I know what I was going to do as well. No, I wasn't. I lie. Oh, oh wait, no, I was, was I going to build an Ishin Shenji? No, I'm thinking of another game I was playing. I was thinking of my campaign. I'm playing a personal campaign myself at the moment alongside this uh, with the Josai and I needed an Ishin Shinji last night or a Shishingomi even or whatever they are can't say them ah. right research what am I learning I am learning epic architecture because I wanted the construction costs lowered and I wanted um, plus one clan happiness I'm gonna bombard these guys do some damage here can I recruit anyone no because I'm out of funds but they'll start replenishing so that's fine. I've looked at everything else. Family, Hazar, in general, my heir. Woohoo! He's got lots of chevrons. Not chevrons, uh, Think of chevrons again. Loyalty, little circles. Circles of loyalty. Someone please put that as a comment and thumb it up. Circles of loyalty. <laughs> anyway. Oh, right, I'm being attacked by these two forces. They thought they could gang up on me. I'm just going to auto-resolve, as you can see. It's highly in my favour. And decisive victory. There we go. I lost 13 men. Oh, no. Dear, oh, dear. That's a win. That's that one army dealt with, and that possibly is the reinforcements dealt with as well. Yes. Right, that army is coming up to attack me. They're bringing up some more forces. They're regrouping with that one, though. Ah, oh, my geisha's in crudest rank. And we've got the summer, lovely summers here. Huzzah. Very un Japanese. What is there? So, what? Okay, yeah, also that's another question for you guys. What's the Japanese version of, so the British saying, Huzzah? What's that? Let me know and I'll say it some. Um, follow escape chances. Hmm, successful action, escaping enemy agents. Charm when enchanting enemies. Let's go with that. She wants to be a green fairy. Inspiring and performing, entertaining, distracting. Um, charm performing. Yeah, we're going to go performing because that helps the generals do their better, their duties better. And um, generally helps to keep things happy. But as far as I know, geishas with that sort of thing help when generals have like traits of I don't know minus plus two percent to taxation. It gives them a be, uh, more of a bonus there as well. More line infantry. If I can have three units of line infantry, I'll be happy. And then I'll take some spear units, leave the rest here with the matchlocks, and take the levy troops with me as well. Because levy troops are awesome. We're going to bombard this target here. Failed to cause any damage. Oh no. Which is going to be, I'm not going to be able to fight that siege with bombardment now because he's moved too far down the coast. My ship. Got this army coming up here, more levy infantry. So as long as Echugo can hold out, which they will do because these troops are doing quite well and they're vetting up nicely, as is my general. Um, then I can, once I sort myself out, Sado, I can I can move in there. Very friendly. How many? How friendly am I exactly? Plus 88 with them. I want to see if I can get some alliances. I can't because who might war with that's their ally? These guys. Damn them. Grr. 
So I want peace with them. I threaten them, but it's not going to work. Trade agreement. We'll give you a trade agreement. We'll give you military access. No, we won't. That's silly. Okay, fine. Gosh, someone's not very friendly. Jeez. But yeah, that's where I'm going to head next with this army. Which means I'll need some ships. And I need some more cash before I can get some ships. And by cash, I mean cuckoo. Uh, one more turn for epic architecture. So here we're going to end the turn again. A lovely little windmill there. It's nice. And that army moves up now. It's probably going to siege me. Yep, here we go. Okay, I'm going to fight this battle, but I won't bother recording it because you've seen quite a lot of these lately. So, uh show you the results uh, very shortly. And there we have them. It's a pretty easy victory. Not too hard. There you go. You can see the kills. The Yari catches did manage to get up on my walls and do some damage there, but nothing I couldn't handle. So I'll push them back for now. I'm going to bring my ships back up the coast so that I can use them in battles as well. Administrative training. Okay, I've got cl plus one clan-wide happiness. And then what's going to be administrative, uh, administrative training, which is 7% reduction to administration costs and plus 10% wealth generated to by farms. I'm going to learn that first, and then I'm going to get consular court going because I want to upgrade and eventually then create a British trading district because they have the best uh, ironclad, the warrior class, and I would very much like to get that for this campaign. Okay, we're hitting their Yari Kai. Just, that's all they've got now, so I can finish them off at will. These guys are going to come towards me, I'll finish them off next turn. Um, can recruit some units here, some more units actually. Uh, what do I need? Probably some more spear troops. Okay, here, I'm going to just see what my ar how my army can assemble. We'll take those three units, my two generals, and see how unhappy the province is. No, it's still happy, and it's going to get even happier because um, the loyalty is going to increase here and also we're nearly going to be getting towards 100% influence pro shogun so that's fine, I can leave them there so I just need a ship now which I'm going to have to wait for next turn to build unless I move this one or unless I cancel the building to be fair, might as well cancel because it's not going to get built because it will get stopped by the um, get stopped by the this army here from the Numata. See my what's going on here? Okay, that's cool. Josai. Oh, they're plus a hundred and six now. Alliance. Satisfactory. Yush! I've got an ally. Woohoo! Surely made everyone else quite friendly. They're uber friendly now. Look at them, all nice bright green. Awesome! The Josai I've seen from previous campaigns I've played in my own time, that the Josai normally do quite well for themselves. Though they sometimes end up taking out uh, Edo. Oh, and something I found funny, it was uh, quite odd. I was playing uh, my own Josai campaign uh, earlier this morning. And um, Edo, who's right next to Josai, is Edo's meant to be the seat of power for the Shogunate. So the Shogun's meant to be there, technically. I'm just going to auto resolve this. So the Shogun was meant to be there, and about five turns in, Edo uh, converted from uh, its allegiance from Shogunate to Imperial. So <laughs> I was just like, what? Where's the Shogun? Seriously? What's going on? General increases in rank, finally again. Awesome. He is just sitting here though and camping up. And he's brave as well. Look at him, that's good. Gonna put this defense on. During ambushes, I get two skill points, so I'm gonna put it on both of these. That's good. He's awesome. Where's that large army I saw somewhere? Was that not my territory or was that someone else's territory? Ah, oh, it was. It's Edo. Here we go. Hello, Edo. Ah, oh, way, Sendai. I've met them now properly. I can't get an alliance because they're allied to these guys. So if I can defeat them, then it should be good. Mm, actually, I wonder if I can get them to... I can't request them to join any wars. And I need an alliance to do that. Demand break of alliance with these guys. Unacceptable. For I can give you all 790 gold, 
and military access. Let's let's offer them that. Mm, it's not gonna work, is it? I'm gonna cancel that. The military access didn't go on there anyway. Whoops, fail there. We'll cancel that. War declared. Who between? Tosa and the Choshu. Brilliant. Ship built. Okay, we're gonna get inside that ship. That sounds a bit wrong. I'm gonna leave my geisha here to for now, and I'll bring her onto my main province in a sec. I'm gonna bring this this ship all the way up here. There we go. And we just gotta go here, use N. Hopefully I've got enough troops to take them on. I can't bombard them with my territory, they're quite lucky, they've got a quite an inland province there. So can't hit them. I'm going to need to build up a bigger ship when I can, because obviously that's not that great. Bombard these guys, Yari Kachi, they've come up here. They're sending more troops, so once I can hold them off long enough, I'll uh, I'll build up some forces. I could build more line infantry there. Really, it's kind of a bit pointless having a barracks on Sado. I might, once I've... For now, I'll leave it there, because I might need it. But my plan is here to build a cadet school. And then, as long as I can secure that, and once I put up maybe a bit of a navy, I'll destroy the cadet school there and build a cottage industry or something to. So that's just a massive like, income island for me. Income island, I like it. In turn. Dun dun. Let's have a sip of morning coffee. Yes, I'm not drinking tea. I've already had some tea today. This is my 11 o'clock coffee. Hmm. A military cachet, eh? Whilst moving through territory. So we got minus 25% in the cost of recruiting units. Brilliant. Oh crap, there's a big army. Hmm. Not sure I really want to um, deal with that. Really, I'd like to get straight to that city and take it out. Obama are dead, eh? And the Numata. Well, that's good. That's the Joe's I got in there. Thank you, Joe's I. Look at them curving around. But if I don't start expanding soon, I'm going to be locked in by the Joe's I, and I'll have to eventually go to war with them. And I do need to take North Shinano Shinan uh, because that was kind of my objective to take. No, I'm kind of in a... Hmm, I do have line infantry, but I don't know what they've got. I'm kind of inclined I want to hide in some woods. I'm going to try and hide in these woods here. And hopefully they'll pass right by me. And then I can escape at a later date. Can't hit their army right now. I'll see how that works. If not, I'll ambush them anyway. So I'll get a bonus from that. And we've got more troops coming on the coast. How lovely. Let's try and attack these new guys. Damage them a bit. So yeah, I'm just going to let my income roll in a little bit now. Even though I get a, it's cheaper to recruit units at the moment. And what about line infantry, actually? Oh, it's ridiculously cheap to recruit them. I'm going to build two more units here and ship them across the mainland because that will really help I can start pushing out then. I think actually the Josai are at war with Edo as well. One they've just crossed into their territory. But I thought they were allied to them. But Edo lost a massive chunk of its army there. Is the Izu there? Oh, they're attacking my port. Oh, thank you. That's my trade screwed. Cheers. Oh, they went right past me. didn't see me. Enemy raid. Lovely. I'm going to have to rebuild my harbour now. You douches. I was going to bombard you and destroy you, but that's not going to work. Bring this navy back here, so the two line infantry that I've just built can be brought to my home province. Okay, so they're heading back to their city quite clearly. I'm going to sit here and wait and let them go past um, for now. I might try and draw them out by attacking their port or something. Or if that's not going to work, I'll just have to bring my troops back down the coast. I'm meeting lots of new clans. This is nice. Friendly. Hello. Whoa, they're 
quite a decent clan, large clan. Oh, they've taken out North Shenando. Okay, that's my kind of objective gone. Although I do need to take it. I'm just going to go for trade agreement right now. Because if I make an alliance with them and I want to take them out in a bit, it's going to be difficult. Sendai, what about an alliance with that? I can't get an alliance with them. Damn it, lo lost North Shinano. Maybe it'll revolt against them. It's quite pro Emperor. Oh, that's what all those other armies just disappeared. I was like, where'd they, where'd they go? What's going on there? Uh, take a look, are the Joes at war with Edo? The enemies of Edo. They are. Strange that, really. Right, end turn time, be sneaky. Hopefully, they won't come back and tap my army there. I want them to just run away. Joe's eye. Mars marshalling their troops up through Japan. I've got more troops coming. I can expand west at least. Okay. They've disappeared, so I'm going to sneak from wood to wood. Yeah, they went into their city. Might see if I can wait until they they leave again. And then I'll sneakily jump in and take it. So now I'm just going to wait up there and be sneaky. Okay, I'm going to bring these guys back down here. Bombard this target. Which does no damage. Bombard. Which will have to be next turn. Got more troops coming up here. Cannons now they've brought up. But these guys have pr all replenished now, and they're doing quite well veteran, uh, veterancy-wise. That's all good, all very good indeed. So I'm going to recruit some more spears. One more turn until administrative costs are lowered, and I'll get some more income from that. So, end turn there. They've got quite large armies actually, haven't they? They're doing well. It's because I went after Sado rather than concentrated on provinces here. But I found I did actually play a a campaign with the uh, Nagato um, a little bit. I didn't get that far into it, which is why I'm quite I don't mind. So it's good. I'm not um, a concealed army discovered. Uh oh, they're probably going to come for me then. I just don't think I can take them on really. Sieges are a lot harder, as you've seen. I've been hit with numbers twice my size and I've been defeated. So I'm going to pull back and just attack their port. Or their farms. It's a bit raiding on their farms. If I can draw them out or something, it might help. Well, I'll draw out some of their men, not all of them. I'll pick them off. If not, I'll pull back down the coast. I'll have to send one of my ships to do that. Okay, so I'm going to drop my men off here. Um, but I'll send this ship back up the coast to pick them up. Bombard here, and um, to be fair, I can now ru uh, marsh, ugh, run out of my province here and defeat them. Oh, I know, I was just saving up for the flipping cadet school, and I've forgotten about that. Whoops. Take a look at their armies, quite large. Are they at war with anyone? Anyone I know? No, they're actually allied with the Josai, so now they and the Josai control that central region, so I can only expand that way, really. And even with them, I'm getting, I'm meeting more and more trade opportunities. So I'll probably have to use naval fleets. Ah, oh, I can attack up here. Well, hang on, the Sendai. Why do the Sendai hate me? The, oh, they switched allegiance. Bloody hell, Sendai have changed. Okay, I'm going to need far more of a f f footing probably than to go up the coast. So I'm going to be focusing on walls up here now. Go up and take out these guys. Sendai perhaps take a province and then come back down the coast if I can't take out these guys yet. Might go and do that. Where do the Azu stand on these things? They're still allied with the Sendai. Very, very tricky. Hmm. Okay, right, we'll have one more end turn and uh see how this goes. And I should learn my new technology next turn as well. The Sunpu. That's quite cool. 
What's going on here? Those guys got just taken out. They did. These guys just got taken out by the uh, Kanazawa. Who I'll probably have to go at war with if I want to gain any territories in this game. The Takayama have only got that territory left. Oh, I was hoping this one would revolt. I need to get some, in that case, some Ishinchenji. Which I need a police station for, which means I really do need to get another territory to build one of these in. I'm not going to let these guys escape down the coast lightly. I'm going to keep harassing them the whole way. The problem is there's now no territory for me to take sort of easily. I'm going to... Why? Well, send... Oh, I'm at peace with them at the moment. They are very hostile. Urgh, if I don't take out that territory, then I'm going to get nothing. I'll see what it's like next turn. And then really decide to commit or pull my troops out and bring them back down here. So either that'll be sorted out next turn. And hmm. I've got nowhere to go. I can't attack anyone. I've waited too long to expand. Well, I lie. I can I can go get these guys. They've got that territory there. And I have a ship. So I am actually going to marshal out then and take them on. Question is how many troops to leave behind. Or that is not a problem at all because how many, I'm going to want to take all the infantry. So I'll recruit one of each to leave behind, probably with another spear unit. And turn. Dun, dun, dun. Um, probably end this part after this turn phase. We'll just uh, go through all the stuff. I don't know what I'm researching because I would have learnt it by now, I think. I'll check that, but yeah, um, if I get a chance, if I don't get a chance to re spend time on the Chosokabe campaign, or I feel it's taking ages to get to the part where I should be, oh, I'm learning Consular Court anyway, that's brilliant, perfect, then I will probably try and do a part four of this campaign, because um, then you've got guys got something to watch, or quite a few parts at least, to keep you going. Right, those those units I want. I want that unit, that unit, that unit. And take my general out. And let's see how happy Ichugo is. Still plus four, it's all good. Get them in the port. Get these guys into the ship on in the port. And then this my ship over here, please. Oh, that's very nice and convenient for you. Uh, I was meant to go into the port. But oh, well, I can take out this territory here and it's got look what it's gone it's got an ore mine perfect so it's lead ore silver so I'll take that out next turn and I'll have some new territories and then I could finally build I'm going to build here a police station so I can get some Ishinchinji or Shishingumi whichever one it is I can't remember which one it is for which factions oh no they're still all there they've got a lot of Yari Kachi which is going to be a problem because once they get to me I won't be able to hold them off and they've got it, cavalry so I'm going to pull my army back now it's time to pull back. I should have attacked the port, that's what I need to do. So oh uh, no. Attack the port and I'll come to you guys. Uh so I'll do that next. Turn uh, How's Sado going? It's all good. Oh the one hundred percent pro shogun now. Boom time. Yes, yeah, so if I can I'll try and get another one of these parts recorded. I might even if you're lucky be able to record one very late tonight and have this uploaded, so you'll have part this part, part three, up probably in about four hours time so by my time you have this about early afternoon early evening four o'clock ish uh, go on one more in turn and then you'll have perhaps part four up at about two o'clock in the morning on Sunday because I'll leave it to render and upload overnight if you're lucky so you'll have more parts and then if you're very very lucky I might even get be able to get one more part done Sunday no Because I want to take your territory in Noto. You know what made me very happy is if they took Echu here, because I could then go from Noto, take Echu, and I've got more territories. If not, then I'll just um, if my allies got them, and I am just going to auto resolve this. Boom! I lost nine men. Oh no. 
peacefully occupy, and they're pretty happy about it, roughly. But actually, it's perfect because I do now really need to recruit, uh, build a police station, and get some Shisengumi. Uh, Shisengumi for Shogunate factions. It's Ishinchinji for uh, non-Shogunate factions. And I've just killed them, haven't I? I've just killed that faction, so they're not going to take Echu. So I'm going to have to. Um, uh, Takayama are dead. I'm going to have to use that issue change to take these territories and probably do it on both of these. It's quite a nice boost to economy. Need to build these all up though. Harbours, I can make some of these trade harbours. Probably make, I think I said I'd make Sado's a military port so I can have a military outpost there. These guys weren't attacked which is brilliant. So I'm going to bring them up here and then get into the ship. and then bring this fleet all the way down here so I can use this army probably to take on this one once I revolt against it and use this current army here to hold them down oh good brilliant and I'm learning consular court so next time I'll be looking to increase my trade opportunities with the world they're happy they're happy even though they're really facing it hard um, with pro-emperor but it is declining so I guess that's alright I wish it would revolt though. I'll just use my Asian Chenji. I mean, that's, the, that's the, what I like about those u the those units. That they are actually brilliant at getting some new territories. You just incite revolts. Yes, it does decrease your. Oh, you've got a really good agent. It does decrease your diplomatic relations with the other nations, but generally they can be repaired quite easily. And um, if you've got a good agent, then it doesn't affect them at all. Okay, so that's where I'm. Or doesn't affect them as much anyway, I should say. Sorry, I already clicked on that. Look at here, just look at my demo. Got my family standing, famed uh fame. Probably get Inspector General in the next couple of turns. Have I gone up a modernization level? No, I'm nearly there though. I haven't been doing much building, just been fighting quite a lot with traditional units. But yes, for now I'm gonna end part three. Been a lot going on in the campaign map, covered quite a few turns. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this part. Please do remember to comment, rate, subscribe, thumb up this video. Um, my apologies, as I've said in this video several times, there won't be a Shogun 2 Chosokabe part um, perhaps at all until I get back from a week's holiday to Spain on the 15th. But uh, there will be a vlog definitely up this evening explaining I'm going off for a week and when I'll be back and then... I've got pretty much three weeks of regular video uploading and if I continue at this rate it will pretty much mean there's a Fool of the Samurai uh, Nagato uh, Nagaoto I should say Nagaoka oh, I've, I'm saying it all wrong again, Nagaoka there we go, there'll be a Fool of the Samurai Nagaoka uh, campaign part pretty much every single day once I'm back so you'll have three weeks of daily Fool of the Samurai as always hope you enjoyed, comment, subscribe, see you guys again soon